So Raphael here from I Am Interactive Marketing, showing how I use then, once I've created a video, how quickly I create a page and send it out to a client, right? So here, here is, uh, here's the process. Uh, I created the video in Camtasia and I have a YouTube channel or YouTube video ready to go. I wanna send it to my client, but I wanna be able to add it into my marketing automation. I wanna create a new page on my website because so I want to continue to follow up with the level of user experience that, that my prospects are getting used to through this prospect, right? So I come to the pages, right? I'm gonna grab, I can grab any of the pages that I wanna basically clone, right? But I know that if 13 questions for Rafa number two is the last one I did, right? So I'm gonna hit clone that guy. And now the, the page has been built. It's built, uh, it's under draft. I'm gonna go hit edit. I'm gonna name it, and this one is, and I should go in and start renaming my, my pages so it's easier to see, just like I do it on my, on my emails, right? When you have so much content. But in this, I'm gonna call it case study, uh, how to use social assist. All right, so now that's the page. I'm gonna edit the URL. I like to use optimized URLs because maybe one day this can this can rank for Sharp Spring and Social Assist and how do you how you use it, <clears throat> right? Um, I'm not doing any additional optimization at the moment besides just kind of on the page here. All right, this is where it gets a little tricky. We're inside Avada, right? And Avada has all of these little blocks ready to go, right? And this is the page that we're editing out. The title, then there's gonna be the video, and then there is this part. Oh, this is not the one I wanted. This was number two, I wanted number one, shit. All right, that's good, I checked. I am going to uh, edit this to delete. I'll delete it there. I'm just gonna leave it. Leave this page. Go back to the pages. I needed to duplicate number two, number number one. But let me just go ahead and trash this one. And you'll see the difference. I have two for a reason. Okay, so I'm gonna hit clone this one. Edit. I'm gonna right click on this to open a different tab to preview it just to make sure it is the right one and the this one the difference in this one is that I have a little extra content space here okay right so now this is the page case study That's really just internal. This is for the search engines. <clears throat> and now, these are the different areas. The title, you're gonna notice, and this is particular to our website, that a lot of our, a lot of our content is over black and white. It's just the way that Chelsea has it at the moment right now, right? Uh, so title, video, content, bottom, right? Title, video, content, bottom. I don't mess with the bottom. It's just kind of my general kind of sign off here, right? So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to edit it. But when you go, shit, there's nothing there. It's because it's white. So I control all. I'm going to switch it to black for a moment, right? And then I'm going to rewrite it. How I use... Uh, social assist to add leads quickly. Save. Oop, what did I didn't do? Didn't make it white. Correct. Oops. <clears throat> select here. I like to select all. Make sure I'm grabbing all of it, right? Then text color. Wait. 
save. And that's good to go. Then this block is this guy, right? So I'm just going to go to here real quick. I'm going to go grab is the share for this video. Hello, this is Rafael Zabala from I Am Interactive Marketing doing a quick, very quick little embed uh, sample here of how show I more sharp spring and the Just, I like the, oh, the 96720, that's the size I like. Within the Chrome browser and uh, boom. Now I have that code. Come back over here, I select all, paste. And now it's the new code, save. And here, select all, turn black, and tell my, 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 my little story here. This is the stuff that you need to learn how to write. Okay. It's campaign content. It's just, you know, I can't tell you how much this has saved, how much time this has <clears throat> saved me and the positive impact it has had on my sales process. On my clients, not my sales process. On my clients' sales process. Uh, the positive impact it has, it has had on my clients' sales process. Check it. Check the video out. Right. You will be impressed. It's okay to be a little cocky. Oh, what did I not do? Not change the text to watch. Leave the rest alone. Yep. Publish. View page. And now I have this guy ready to fucking go. Okay, so now that we looked at the video, we have we've built the page, I have this ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and create an email for it inside SharpSpring. So that I have a email at any time. To send to folks on on this on this this case study, you'll see that I, I have done a much better job organizing my content as case studies and stuff because then I can at any time you know what can I send this guy? What can I do? I can boom send him a quick quick case study. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna pick one of my uh, any of my case studies. That I'm, I'm gonna duplicate right. I know that the hormone therapy. I usually work the last one I did because I know it's the la the latest thought I had in it. So. The hormone therapy one was the last one I did, so I'm going to copy email, case study, how to use social assist, uh, subject line, how I use um, live video. Using uh, oh, I need to think. How do I use this here? What do I say here? Say here. Uh, um, wow, it is so easy. It hurts. I don't know. Check this out. Yeah. Wow, it's so easy. Check this out. 
I can change it at any time. All I'm trying to do is stop people in their process, right? So now I'm creating an email. First thing I want to do is say I want to be able to send it multiple times to folks because if he didn't open it one time, I want to be able to send it again, sure. I want to make it available inside the contact manager, absolutely. I want to send from lead owner when sending from automation engine, yes. Now I got that down, now I'm going to go change this part, right? Blah, 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 blah. This always stays the same. Um, I did a quick video on how I am using marketing automation in the social assist plugin right in my browser, right in my browser to speed my lead, to speed up my lead management process. I believe in short, simple emails. Uh, I thought you might, yeah. This is very powerful and it has had a very positive, a, a, a it has had an immense impact on our sales management process. This this strategy is surprisingly simple. I love that. Click here the video. Click click here for a video explanation. Take this part out. And then here, I'm gonna hit the link button. And this is these this is get really used to all of this stuff. You see it here, you see it in WordPress, you see it in any tool, you see it inside Proposify, you see it anywhere. Uh, that you're kind of editing content, right? So here's my case study. Copy this link. Go back to SharpSpring. Select. Boom. And then I'm going to click here to see my four video, video explanation. That is still relevant. Boom. Done. And now I have an email ready to go case study that I can use forevermore for any of my clients. Right now, I'm going to send it is to Tony because Tony is in my pipeline. He's ready to keep moving forward. I can probably sell him marketing automation. In either case, even if I can't sell him marketing automation, this is this level of expertise and this, uh, these abilities. Uh, I mean, Tony is a veteran CEO of multiple companies, and his, draw, uh, his jaw dropped when I showed him how I'm tracking him, how he came through the site, how when I added him, like he came to my website seven days before him and I ever, before I even knew he existed. It was retroactive. He's been consuming my contact, my emails, but I'm just going to go ahead and send him so another smart email. Case study. Uh, what's it called? Social assist? Social assist, right? Boom, prepare email to send. Now Tony and I had a face-to-face -face meeting yesterday, and so I'm gonna change this. Right? Done. Schedule email. Send. And I just went through the process of creating a whole new campaign. That was a whole campaign. We shot a video. We uploaded it to YouTube. We took, we put it on the website. We created a short email for it and saved it. And now I can use it for anyone and everybody, right? So for example, Molly is also on the path for marketing automation. All right. So I'm going to send her that email real quick too. So I'm trying to sell her marketing automation.
I'm going to edit it because Molly and I have been working for over a year together for me to say, hey, Raphael here from I am, but it seemed really gay. How is it going? Not gay. I'm sorry to say that. All right. How's it going? Were you able to present MA Sharp Spring to the team? I did another quick video on how I'm using. Right? Done. As soon as possible. Send an email. And you know what? I have one third guy I've been trying to close on marketing automation for some time. And I'm going to, I'm going to send it to him as well. And that's Steve. Steven? Um, let's get to him. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, and we're going to move into creating some other campaigns.